Well, my friends, this is real. We are live and we are, man, you know, it's another Christmas morning sort of episode for me. I've been waiting for this show. Raihan and I started talking about this in, in May during the anniversary show. We were like, let's do a spotlight on the Indomodular scene. And he was like, great. It's taken us a couple months to get it going. Summer, scheduling, other stuff. Anyway, the day is here. Oh my God. So, first off, welcome. Welcome to the show. I'm, I'm so impressed with my Pacific Coast friends who are here, who have showed up at nine in the morning for this early stream. Thanks so much. I am also very impressed with my friends in Indonesia. It is 11 p.m. over there, 14 hours ahead of show right now. And, uh, you know, it's going to go into Monday morning. Some of these guys have to work on Monday morning. Thank you so much for staying up. My friends in the EU and the UK, this is like perfect time for you. It's like middle of the afternoon. All right, let's get going here. Um, you were listening to friend of the show and brother Jared Kozub performs as Ice Locus as this show started. This album just came out uh, last Friday for Bandcamp Friday. I'm sure all of you went and supported him and bought the album. Um, if you're interested, all the links for all the artists for the whole show, everything is below in the description. If you're like, man, I got to get that record. How do I find Ice Locus on Bandcamp? Come on. Taken care of. Um, thank you, Jared, for letting me uh, play that album um, as the show started. Um, for those of you who would like to support this show, uh, the best way is to go to Patreon. Um, you can also join uh, on YouTube and become a YouTube channel member by clicking the join button below. Shows like this, uh, I mean every show, but shows like this take a lot of work. And, uh, you know, Modular World is kind of my part-time job, or I'd like it to be. So thank you for considering supporting this show, this fiercely independent show. Um, if you're wondering why my sexy FM radio DJ voice is a little sexier today, <laughs> um, hang on, Raihan, I'm going to mute you for just a second. <laughs> um, I've, I've been sick. Okay. And I'm still sick. Um, well, no. Okay, so I wasn't going to go there, but I'm going to go there, okay? Um, some of you know that I traveled to Tennessee and to Washington, D.C. a few weeks ago. Played a couple shows, a little family vacation. I came back with COVID. So did my younger daughter. Uh, I went right into quarantine here at home for 10 days. I felt like I was going to die for two days. I didn't die. I am alive. Um, we're both testing negative now. My wife and my eldest daughter never got it. They tested negative. Yes, I was vaccinated. Yes, I wore masks and we were careful. Still happened. So I don't have my voice back fully. I have a pretty bad cough. Um, but you know what? I'm feeling fine. It's going to be okay. So my public service announcement, my friends, is to be careful. I don't think it's time to travel yet. Okay, we're here, but, uh, this is real, my friends. <laughs> I don't mean to make light of it. Okay. Um, let's move on. Uh, the Indomodular scene is, um, you know, I think that it's kind of typical that we all kind of get into our little scenes and bubbles and it's like, oh, there's a huge scene over there. You know, that's what I've discovered running this show is that like, you know, 
the more I look, the more I find that there's just like amazing, healthy scenes all over this globe. This is a perfect example. Uh, Indomodular is an Indonesian modular synth your rack community. They're actively involved with organizing experimental noise events. Um, and just an absolute treasure trove of talent and nice guys. Um, I first met Raihan Sudrajat, who you know as Basput, played on this show early on. Also played the anniversary show and has become a very dear friend of mine. Um, let's bring in Raihan because he's gonna he's gonna help me run this show. All right. Uh, yeah. Raihan. Hey, Jono. How you doing? Hi, everyone. <laughs> great. Doing great, man. Oh, it finally happens here. It's finally happening. It's finally happening. We've been talking since May, right? And we've been everything. And now we're here. And it's good to see you guys. And thanks for tuning in. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> like I could feel it this week with all the promo and all the reposts and right. the comments. I was like, man, this show's going to be special. <laughs> I mean, every show's special. I say that, but man, sure. Like spotlight on Indonesia. Come on, right? This, yeah. is, a, this is a big deal, <laughs> man. I I can feel right now that by the end of the show, I'm going to be like whispering. <laughs> it's, it's like I'm already losing. Yeah, me too. It's not good. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait to watch it as well. Yeah, I haven't watched a performance, but yeah, can't wait to see that. So yeah. six, six performances, this is a little bit like an Indonesian festival, a modular festival. I mean, usually I've got four, right. you know, you know, four, four performers on the show. Six is like, this is massive. Yeah. All right. And massive. Yeah. It's supposed to be like four or five. Yeah. In every episodes of the model. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I'll do five, but usually four. So six right. is like mini festival situation. It's awesome. <laughs> it <right>, can happen. <laughs> so, so, so give me a little snapshot of the Indo scene. Talk to me a little bit about what's going on there. Sure. Yeah. Thanks, Jenna, for um, introduction. And, Hi everyone. So Indo Modular um, happened since uh, like uh, four years ago. So actually, um, we'll have our anniversary at um, 17th of August, and Randy from Indo Modular will um, inform about that uh, information. So Indo Modular, we've actually uh, coming from diverse and uh, different backgrounds. There's some um, artists, musicians, and also visual artists, and also me and um, like the session player and stuff. So a lot of people here that came not from one background, but put into in the WhatsApp group, that's frankly speaking, I haven't met any one of the Indomodular. So because actually I just finished um, from my study in Australia and went back yeah. here yeah. and I'm being um, live in the different island in where the most of the members in Jaffa and but I live in Borneo and Kalimantan. So actually we just make connection through uh, WhatsApp and also um, having discussed through like a zoom something like that yeah. so actually it's growing the, co the, co the community is growing in the not from only from java actually also from the other areas hopefully and actually we have the members like more than like three no 30 people yeah actually much more randy will explain that later so actually hopefully uh, we'll be growing in the future and hopefully this kind of event will also will you know grow our connection to much wider and broader um, audience and community, I think, Jono. So that's it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah, you and I met when you lived in Australia. Yeah. And now you're back, so you're in Borneo. But um, right. the rest of these guys live, um, it's, it's like in it Jaffa. could be considered like the main island, right? Yep, yep, the main island, yep, yep. Right, Jeff, uh, where the capital city is, uh, the Jakarta, yeah. Right, right, mm -hmm. Jakarta, right. Um, should we bring in Randy right now? Yeah, I think that's sure. what we had planned. Yeah, on. I'm kind Randy. of, it's all kind of blurry. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, let's invite Randy here. Everything's a little blurry. <laughs> all right, um, let's bring in Randy here. Here we go. Hi, Randy. Hold on a second. You're still mute, brother. Yeah. Right. No. 
Hi, guys. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> oh, don't be nervous. All right. So this Making is my friends here. This is Randy Danista. And Randy is a mover and shaker in the Indo scene. How you doing, man? Thanks for joining us, guys. I know it's like late at night there. Yeah, yeah you know, I want to say get well soon. Thanks. I hope our uh, vibe from Indonesia can uh, make you get healthy after hearing all the modular scenes from Indonesia playing. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. Healthy yeah. Uh, sounds through the through the airwaves. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so like, Randy, uh, Randy, tell us about some of the history of the Indo scene there and your place in it and kind of give us a little, a little understanding of what's going on there. Okay. Actually, uh, the first time I, I saw the module is uh, at 2016 with uh, when Percy uh, gave me some uh, Pittsburgh module and then like for one year, I cannot do anything without that module what can i do, do for <laughs> i cannot make a sound i cannot because uh all the youtube things is isn't happening yet at that time so after one year and then i met bagus pandega and then like he started to learning modular and then like oh you can play that yeah and then like yeah. uh we were talking to each other to uh teaching each other and then like hey what about we make a just account like in the modular maybe or gathering something and then like okay let's try to make an instagram first and after i post the first patch and then like all the people like coming around from <laughs> i don't know where like raihan right and every everyone like gather at that uh, account and then like uh we we, we do the meetup at my house uh, at that time and then like after that we growing growing and growing and this is the today is like fourth anniversary of indio modular this august that's so nice <laughs> it's so like four years yeah. i mean this is a nice four kind of four year celebration yeah four year celebration <laughs> that's great i mean okay. isn't it isn't it interesting that like build it build it and they will come right like you guys felt that yeah i've definitely felt that here in socal i felt that on modular world that if you provide a platform if you provide a an outlet you know people will show up yeah, yeah. yeah. it's it's like a module when you're patching around like every uh you get you will get the one more module <laughs> like <laughs> you know the, the community is like that when you do great analogy patching. yeah <laughs> sure somehow you're gonna uh make people to put some new model and then like never ending story like yeah right it's getting bigger what a great analogy yeah <laughs> people are like <laughs> modules yeah, yeah. <laughs> our right never stop right getting bigger and getting bigger and getting bigger <laughs> just like you are right <laughs> all right I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna send you off. We're gonna get this show going. Thanks, Randy, for coming Bye. in. It's, it's I'm really glad to know you, man. Thank you, man. All right. Thanks, Hope Randy. Yeah. Enjoy, enjoy Randy the show. The, there it's he is, right there. Six, six guys, best player. All right, man. Off you go. Here we go. Right. Well. All right, so here we go. Um, first off is Firzio, who he uh, referred to. Would you like to set him up, or do you want me to do this one? Um, I can. I can read the bio, yeah. All right, why don't you start? Right. Yeah, so first performer is Firzi, Firzi O. I'll read the bio. So Firzi O is a producer, singer, songwriter, engineer based in Jakarta. So fascinated in sound design and hands-on hardware has led him into modular synthesizers. He employs modular synthesizer as an instrument of his state of mind, sticking constructing particles of sound into compositions of synthesis textures. Founded at lokapal.com in late 2016, 
a patient-based entity about analog gear and photography, which distributed top modular synthesizer brands from manufacturers around the world, actively holding workshops and events about modular synthesizer. Founder of Eclectic Mill Studio and Masak Suara Production, who has worked with non-local independent artists, such as Good Not Electric, Effect Rumah Kaca, White Shoes and the Couples Company, Baraswara, Zik and the Popo, Payung Teduh, and Jason Ranti, among others. So that's it, the bio about Firzi. Man, something I felt, you know, when you sent all these bios is that, like, these people, I mean, most of them have, like, I mean, list, huge list of people they've either right. produced, recorded with, played in their movies, been on their albums, produced their compilations, did collaborations with, I mean, it was like blinding. I'm like, well, we That's can't. That's true. Yeah, I'm like, we can't read that, you know. There was like a list That's of right. like, you know, the, I, I think Paraquad <laughs> had the the longest one. There was like over a hundred oh, yeah. things that he had cited of, projects and things he had played on and produced. I was like, good Lord. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So actually everyone has a background and diverse and different. So it's amazing to yeah. know that, you know? Wow. Okay, here we go. This is Firzi O. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
Unbelievable. Amazing. Wow. All right. We are joined by Bass Put up top here and Firzi in the in the bottom hi. window. Hi, everyone. Yeah. Hi. It's amazing, Firzi. Well, I'm speechless, Just, Joe. Thanks. thanks, thanks, thanks amazing. Thanks. And Wishbone Brewery, I think you said it perfectly. Starts out freaky, then we get dance music, then we go out on freaky. I mean, that intro, right? <laughs> I'm sure that people are like... Okay, experimental set. Here we go. Interesting way to start the show. But then, of course, he brings the pain right away. You know, <laughs> what a great set. God damn it. I, I do like twist uh, kind of storyline, you know. <laughs> so you were telling me that you like all these styles and mash them into one 
set like this like what a what a skill yeah yeah usually uh, before the performance if i have like five days uh, time uh, to performance usually i spend those three days like thinking through what am i going to do with the patch and things like that and then and i spend one day to patch and then if i have one more day to practice the patching then i'll do that before performing so the brief was uh, i have to make like a 20 minutes composition max so i was thinking what am i going to do with it and then it's, it's always i have always put inspiration of my current situation so at the time i was like having this kind of mood that i want to uh, uh, emphasize and i want to like uh put it in my patch and stuff so yeah uh, i decided to do that i like uh, with my modular i like doing ambience kind of music and i like doing electronic techno stuff or textures i always love te textures and like really really up, uh, dive into the uh my the ability of the module doing the all the synthesis and so yeah, I just decided to put that all in the 20 minute composition, which actually it was my second take. Uh, and it's the original one was like 25 minutes and then I have to cut uh, the five minutes oh, to make it shoot. yeah, wow. 20 minutes. And that first Amazing. melody that captured everybody, that was mimetic with Manus, yeah? No, no. Actually, uh, the the melody is uh, by Ocoast. It's in the. You mean on on my second part, right? Where there's a kick. It was right after the, the intro. I think you were the talking melody, about. Yeah. You use mimetic. Oh for yeah, the, yeah. For the pitch yeah. work. Yeah. Actually, yeah. no, no, no. Actually, I use the mimetic for the uh, CP parameter of the of the manis. Yeah. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. The if I'm not mistaken. It was the smash and the filter. I only oh, wanted to geez. do like a very, very subtle and light movement for uh, the menace. The, the middle middle one is the menace and then the high pitch one is the Ocos. It was sequenced by, I do like uh, mix CVs. So I, I, I usually use like, uh, if I have like three channels on my CV mix, Usually I use one is like a very, very simple LFO, like sign LFO. And then the second one would be like a uh, step random. Uh, in this case, I use the randomizer from the Ocoast. And then the ch channel three, I use like from the Z uh, ZR. ZR I really like to use as an LFO. Yeah, It, it can get like really, really That's complex, nice. like very, very easy. So I just... Uh, tune in the mix between channel one and channel two, channel three. I send that to the quantum main of the OC, my lifesaver, and then throw that into the pitch of the uh, Ocos. Yeah. Wow. So Sounds you're combining great. three different CV sources. Yeah, yeah. Inside yeah. of OC I just, for I one just, output. Yeah, I can get really, really like interesting. Uh, movement and sequence uh, if i feel like i want to do more of a standard one i can just uh, attenuate the channel two and three i can like, really explore the channel one if i want to be more dynamic ups and downs and things like that i can just uh, open the channel two and channel three more so it's like yeah brilliant which um which application on the oc it's the quantum main, the the four quantizer one. Got it. Yeah. I think I think I I think I won't only use OC for that. Same here. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> only the quantum main and the ASR mode. I think. Yeah. It sounds great. Yeah. Now I really want OC. I've been considering it much. So one of the people in the chat here, Nick Shinton, Dubstation Zero, he's the one who's really gotten me on board with quantum main. And uh, yeah, man, that is just like it's too powerful. <laughs> yeah, man, and you know Zadar At, too. I mean, it's such a such a Zadar, simple yeah. simple module that can output such complex mm -hmm. waveforms. I was just 
I was kind of, it was a learning curve to not even see it as like an envelope generator, but just as like a, a waveform generator, you know? Yes. Yes. Right. Exactly. Like, Wait a second. This isn't an envelope generator. I don't need ADSRs. I need wacky modulation waveform sources. <laughs> Zadar is awesome. <laughs> Zadar is awesome. Right. Um, yeah, which, which, yeah. Can you, can you talk to us about your analog couple project? Oh yeah, actually the, the analog couple is me and my, my wife. It started as a, like a website for like a content, but ended up uh, selling modules for, for uh, our community here in Indonesia. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We do, we do also, uh, we do workshops before the pandemic uh, pretty regularly, like every three months. And then we do like gathering also held some gathering uh, to the community, like performance and things like that. You can, I, I think uh, I, I post some videos also on the YouTube about documentation. We already have like for this past two years before the pandemic, there's like 10 or 12 events already held in Jakarta and in uh, Bandung, which actually uh, usually the, the event is like started with a free workshops uh, on modular and then uh, finish up with five to seven performer. Wow. Yeah. Sounds so like a really great, nice yeah. event. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Any uh, future yeah. coming up projects which you want to plug or mention? Uh, at the moment, I think at the moment I uh, uh, I cannot think of one. I'm still in like uh, deadlines, mixing deadlines and things like that. Right. But I, I'm planning to do my own stuff probably later on uh, in about three or five months. We'll be sure to info things like that. Yeah. Yeah, please let me know when you um, release that so we can talk about it on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. About the also, but the first one, it's pretty interesting in the in the uh, exploring the possibility of the modules, and I really like morphogenes. <laughs> Those modules are awesome. Absolutely. Of course, and things like that. Amazing. All right, we are going to move on. Firzi, thank you so much for joining yeah. us. Thanks, Firzi. Yeah, thanks, mate. Thanks uh, so much. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for having us. And my uh, utmost respect for what you uh, do to the community. You got hi, it. Hi, guys. Man. Thanks. See you, mate. Awesome. Uh, let me send him back to the waiting here. All right. Yep. Yeah. All right, what's next, Juno? Give me a sec here. All right. Yeah, juggling these windows is going to be a little funky, but, you know, we're going to stumble through it. It's going to be fine. Um, <laughs> I know, yeah. For those who are joining and have joined since we started, I am joined. <laughs> that's joined twice in one sentence. I am joined by Raihan, uh, a.k.a. Bass Put, here on my right. Um, Raihan and I designed this show, um, for a couple months and he's agreed to co-host with me. Thanks so much for doing this, man. No worries, brother. Good to be here. Yeah. And, you know, thank you so much for your wonderful curation too. Cause he was like, do you want to pick the artists? I'm like, mm -hmm. no, cause you know them and this is your scene, you know, the endomodular scene. So this is all curated by Raihan. And uh, I'm just kind of along for the ride. So thank you so much for your work, man. No worries, brother. I mean, you sent me these, these you know, artists, and I was like, every single one of them, great. Don't cut one of them. Let's just have a bigger show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. All right. All right, let's move on. Um, all, right, all right. You set up Fearzy, and I'll, uh, I'll do Deathless now, all right? Great. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh uh, Deathless is next. Uh, Deathless is a moniker used by Rams, an experimental drone ambient musician based in Bandung, Indonesia. He's also a sound designer, guitarist, producer, and instrument builder. 
his music often expressed as heavy and apocalyptic drone ambient. Uh, Deathless emphasizes the use of minimal chord progression and complex effects processing in its repetitive sounds. Deathless was founded in 2005 and started to record noise experimental drone compositions in 2009. Since 2018, Deathless is also uh, known as part of a free improvised collective called Subtractive. And of course, he's part of the Indomodular Society. Deathless' latest album, entitled Search Destroy, was released in early 2020 by Tangerang, based label Blank Orb Recordings. Uh, in 2021, he will release a split album with Bass Put, this guy right here, on Blank Orb. Um, meanwhile, his ambient, his uh, his techno dark ambient project, Profound Grief, just released a debut single on the compilation from Bali-based label Non Archive. The long-awaited new album Noir is expected to release in late 2021. Oh, this is so good. Um, my friends, this is Deathless.
All right. Thank you. Thank you, Rams. Thank you very much. All right, my friends, we have Deathless on the top, and we are once again joined by Basepoot helping me moderate this show on the bottom. Man, post-apocalyptic soundtrack, I think, that Randy said. God. That's very true. It's it's perfect. Perfectly said. Yeah. Perfectly said. Yeah. And what's the what's the synthesizer you were you were talking about? This is a locally uh, made Oh the the uh octagon shape. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the octagon touch uh, yeah. touch synthesizer. That one uh, that one just an only a little bit sound that I made in the almost in the end of the the, the set is uh uh basically it has no name right now, but mm-hmm. it's called like a touch synthesizer. Uh, made by Indonesian uh, Indonesian synthesizer company. Just uh, I knew the guy because uh, he lived like a, a kilometer away up oh, in the hill, so like cool. near my house. That and then uh, I got introduced by my friend also Bagus Pandega, one of the uh, uh, founding uh, member of uh, Indo Modular, mm. and mm. I hang out a lot with him. Uh, he have a really cool workshop and he also do uh visuals like lighting and he's he's very talented and then uh one time he showed me uh his new creation which is the octagon let's say it octagon for now the touch synthesizer it have like a uh, very similar to uh synthesizer with uh, many modes like uh i can say like main similar to plates or somewhere like plates and ring in between like like the two of my favorite modules that i also using on my set mm-hmm. and then i i asking him to trying it and then uh after like maybe around two hours like playing around i'm asking him to can i borrow it for like <laughs> one month for my Recording because I I I I recently just uh, done recording for my split album with this, but so I use it on the album. I'm using it on this uh, set and another, I think another set that I I did put it like uh, more jamming on that. So it have the, you know the uh, the touch uh, to to do the all the you know the scene. Then it have it have the, I think around like seven six or seven sound different sound in between like i can say like plates of rings and then also it has the the scale so it basically uh right. the digital synthesizer but it made more like interactive you you can even it have a filter and volume so if you tune up the volume it will be driving so wow. yeah right so now Distorted. you guys it looks like a Sorry, sorry, I think, yeah, yeah, no yeah. you can, yeah. you can, because like it can be like so percussive, or you can be like a touch synthesizer, and then it, it, you know, if you have it, the the rest is yours, like, you know, based on your right, right. Yeah, it's very go in general. Yeah. No, I I wanted to hear about um uh the the uh, the album which you guys have coming out. This is a this is an interesting collaboration. So yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can start. Rebel. Okay, so the album is because uh, me and Brian was buddies in like you know gear before we are into modular world. <laughs> into this kind of <laughs> <laughs> in, uh, like we are candles, a, yeah. yeah we are good gearhead and then just before uh, Ryan uh, go to study in Australia. Like, five or six years ago, he went to my house. And then that's when I'm digging more about his music because he's introduced his music. And then the latest music from his at that moment is very like Indian, like more like post rock. And then that's also that I really like about. That's when I first uh, have like right hand in mind that I need to work with him, like collaborate or anything. And then we are becoming like buddies, but online. Like we always, <laughs> even we, we always like chat in the late of night. And then also we, even we have like a, a Zoom class when the pandemic start. We have a Zoom class that uh, I yeah. initiate and then have a right hand 
uh, join on board and then like teach uh, uh, friends or like uh, uh, people in Indonesia to uh, do uh, you know like whatever they interest like uh, like the basic of recording like mm-hmm. the basic of synthesizer mm-hmm. even Raihan uh, start more advanced into what is it called Raihan your <laughs> Uh, I forgot the, the name. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then, like many class that based on like our discipline, so yeah. it's very cool. And then that's that's uh since last year, I will I I was like thinking I need to do something with Raihan. And then earlier yeah. this year, I think I proposed to Raihan to hey let's let's have an album together uh like a split album. At the first, we think we're gonna do like a like our own song, but Yeah. Uh, in the way uh, I send him, and then he send me tracks, and then we start collaborate on that. And okay. then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, I think from the album side, I think it's just like the combination from like drone because I do really dig into the percussion stuff like the back in the past. I think so. I really like the percussive stuff, and I think that the combination with uh, Deathless, I think because R- Rambo's or Deathless really dig into like a droney synth layers and stuff. Which I think I can feel that with the percussion side. I think it's perfect, and yeah, I can't wait to share it to you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. maybe it will be out uh, next a month or half month and a half. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then the the good thing is the labels is uh, also uh, we are signed this uh, album uh, by the labels Blank Orb, which is also the member of Indo Modular as well, and then he he. He start uh, modular uh, way before us, so it's also nice to meet like everyone that very supportive in this group. Like in the modular, is very mm-hmm. you know very supportive. Right. And then we have also uh, Parakuat, which is Ari do the mastering for the album. So everyone yeah. involved in this project. Yeah, in the modular connects us. Yeah, that's so yeah. cool. So does the project have a name, or will it just be both of your names listed? Uh, we have, we still haven't decided the name. <laughs> we still have yeah. a few weeks <laughs> until it's uh, <laughs> need to be out. But uh, we have, uh, uh, each of us have the basic story of the song. Like Raihan is very, have a, I really, that's why I really admire him because he's like, you know, his, his concept of making music is like beyond. He have like a big story of the song he made and then like his, When I read it and then I do, you know, a composition to add hills on on his track, it's like mesmerizing. And then mm-hmm. I, I get deep into his story of uh, uh, the story of uh, his song. And then, yeah, can't wait to share with you guys. I can't. I mean, knowing both of your styles, I just I'm really excited to hear it because you're both. Yeah. I mean, I think to the naked ear, the, the maybe a listener who doesn't know your style so much. I mean, these are. Yeah. These are very different styles. Yeah, like opposite. <laughs> Sometimes, sure. I mean, it's yeah. I'm I'm really excited to hear that. That that, that sounds awesome. Right. Yeah. If you guys go to my social media, I do also uh, techno stuff a lot recently. Uh, but I start to separate the techno kind of style because my drone or ambient kind of style has been with me like since 2009. It's been like a very long time <laughs> i'm playing this kind of style and then i start this uh new moniker called profound grip that mm-hmm. more into like a minimal techno uh, ambient and then some uh, a little drone there and then uh, i put like more into like techno stuff on on that side so that let's be like on so this is a really hard for me to play like around 15 minutes uh, performance because I usually play like two hours set, something like that. Oh my that. God. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah, true, for, yeah, it's true. Usually for, it's for the, the other list. way around. You know, it's like people do five minutes and they're like, how will I do 20? But you do two hour <laughs> sets. Two hour set, yeah. Uh, sometimes when, when Indo Modular have the, you know, the events and then having me playing, And then they're only giving me like 30 minutes and I'm like, can I do like an hour or at least 45 minutes? And they're like, and then they're like, okay, 45 minutes and then. <laughs> But on my, 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 uh, uh, on 
my latest album into I I released it on early 2020 also on the on Blank Orb the label and then I have right. a showcase for that and then the showcase was all mine so I have a two by a uh, 16 minute so it's all two hour set Good and boy. then it's full of like drone and ambient like texture like everything and then i have it like uh, in a quadraphonic two uh, hours of quadraphonic yes and then can you imagine two hours wow. i i really can't <laughs> <laughs> and me too uh, i wonder if i could make it you know or whether i'd be like cheers man i love you but i gotta go yeah. you know and the, the and the set is very different because i i i make it into like a graphic because the the set is from like 15 bpm up into 120 kind of style and then like all in between like 60 90 and then it's become like you know higher and higher a bit wow. and then that that also the time i also introduced uh, the style of uh, minimal techno into my set so i also wonder why why people are always there and then like mm. when i see the videos after the show because it's very dark and we have visuals on that we have like lasers we have like you know uh all the lighting uh friends doing visuals and then like the place is so small cannot fit everyone like uh we put like another two uh speakers outside but people can, just can only hear it as a stereo but in inside like people go crazy like damn wow. i was like <laughs> yeah that's my that's first 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 uh showcase with modular yeah someday someday i'll i'll be able but, to see that man yeah that sounds awesome yeah But when the pandemic uh, hit, uh, I, I, I gotta have a. The plan is to go to Australia and Japan to do tour for the album and the setup. But when the pandemic is all is gone, like hopefully when everything's getting better, and we'll get back. Set. We'll get back. Yeah. Yep. Hope, yep. Hopefully, hopefully California. And the rest of USA too, because I basically I'm I'm really like doing live more live, like even even my set is live. I do like live patching a lot. Right. Yeah. Wow. Uh -oh. All right, I'm gonna let you go, man. Thank you so much, Rams. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Rambo. You. I love. Thank you, Jono. Thank you, Ryan, for the opportunity. Thank you. Yeah. Stay safe. Thank you. Right. Me too, brother. Off you go. Wow. So this is you know that yeah I think it's amazing to share this experience because I wish I could put all the other uh, performers into the show you know because I've learned a lot from the community that many people talented people in doing different backgrounds and stuff I think it's just amazing that we can learn so many things from the community so I think the idea is to connect like this is just amazing you know. Well, I mean, obviously I agree. I, I think that I try to, I mean, every show is kind of like a spotlight on all the countries, you know, which are represented, but having a specific spotlight like this, I think is really right. what like the mission statement of modular world has always been was to connect us with all the different scenes. Right. And that's great for everybody watching, man, please make sure you follow all these artists all the information is underneath all the instagrams all the band camps find ways to support these artists if possible and at least follow them um because once i started digging down the rabbit hole of the indomodular scene you know i see other people posting i'm like oh he's part of that scene too okay they're part of that scene too and uh yeah it's a huge scene over there you know that's right yeah it's amazing yeah. All right. All right, we should keep going, yeah? Yeah, next up is Potaquat. Would you like right. to uh, do this one? Yeah. And now sure. you're going to have to forget the whole enormous sure, of list course. of all the this experience, stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, this this guy has so done list. so much work, so much, yes. so many collaborations, and yeah, it's quite amazing. Amazing. 
All right, I'll read right, the go bio. Ahead, yeah. So Eddie RM, as a guitarist, model artist, singer, and multi-instrument, produce and sound engineer. The beginning of the electronic musician career based in Parakuat as soloist and Timur as engineer. So Eri started his music career as a guitarist, arranger, and also composer, which was started from the year 1999. At that time, he worked as an arranger and also a music composer who did not take shelter in record company, or it could be called as non-exclusive publisher. So any record companies could work together and use his work. In year 2000, he made another step in his music career. At the time, he was an artist project producer, and also he was made music projects together with his friends and partner in music called Aribias and Emil Pias, which have the same vision and mission music and a goal to reach the center of Indonesian music industry, which states in Jakarta, the capital city. They was made produce uh, music projects, which are able to offer and use by any record companies. By the time goes by, finally a well-known record company in Indonesia offered him his job as exclusive composer in the recording company. He able to make music with the length of time, music that he usually for this record company, beside that he used to make music for TV, media broadcasts from jingle music, advertisement until widescreen or movie music. So Eddie RM, AKA uh, Paraguat. I mean, what a CV, right? All right. Thank you, Raihan. Uh, my friends, this, no worries, is, brother. this is Paraquad.
Pas de quat. Wow. It's amazing. So. Wow. Hello, John. Hello. 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 Hello, Eddie. Nice to see you, Eddie. Yeah. Thanks for joining yeah. us. You guys are just great staying up late like this. Thank you so much. I mean, it's already past <laughs> It's already past midnight there. Uh, yeah, I bet had like a couple of glasses that Eddie took before, of coffee that before. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it, was, it was funny, Raihan, <laughs> you and I were talking the other night, and it was, uh, it was like late at night here, and my daughter walks in and says hi to you, and I'm trying uh, to tell them like, it's actually tomorrow there now. And she's like, what? I'm like, yeah, it's tomorrow morning there now. Because it was like midnight our time. It just like blew her mind. It's like Raihan lives in the future, you know? Yeah. Mind blowing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So, Eddie, tell us about this set. Because I think that this kind of patience and restraint is so yeah. admirable. Um, I know that I yeah. and... Probably was saying in the chat too that I yep. always need to pack in so much stuff. Um, I feel like it's just got to be so filled, and you're showing such restraint and patience. Much respect. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, uh, my video suit is bad. I'm no, it's fine. It's fine. You look That's good. That's great. Um, then now to a little unwell because yesterday I was busy making mm. other people harassment, but I want to take the time. <laughs> well, thanks for, sure. thanks yes. for making it. Yeah. Mm. Thanks so much. I try to make a uh, composition with the types, part one and part two. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yes. The first little slow, and then try second. I try to use kick, and then blah, 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 and I used to chord composition. Right. And level from it and other. <laughs> That's it. That's great. Simple. <laughs> and yeah, Sundanese. But... I, I, I produced with like a Sundanese style. Uh, mm -hmm. With something like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, yeah, That's yeah. It. So if I can also, that Ali mentioned is the Sundanese is uh, one of the ethnic group from Java. Mm. And the ethnic groups also has a specific scale of like the minor pentatonic. Like we have a specific scale, like three, I think. And Eddie used one of them into the scale of the melody, if I got it. Yeah. Wow. So that's what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think about, um, did you see Loya on the show kind of kind of early on? Oh, yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Saw so it, he yeah. uses a lot of these scales, too. Um, but, but Loa from friends. Yeah, also he uses these scales yeah. and this like repetitive, lots of like African rhythms and scales that we don't usually use here, and it's just yeah. such a <laughs> such a pleasure to hear that. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he used to play outdoors, right, in the sceneries and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Eddie, when you're, yep. I mean, you had such a huge list of work and collaborations which you sent me there's too much to possibly read but oh. it's wonderful but when you do this work how much of it is with modular and how much of it is with other instruments <laughs> uh i was a uh, paraquat paraquat in the first album yes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, 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 lit yeah. little use modular because there are still your tool and use a lot of desktop, mm. a cog and roll on a button, some house plugins. Mm -hmm. But the concept are more about singing, me and singing, and a lot of uh, help from the musician. The first, a lot of people who took apart 18 famous musician artists in Indonesia. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, right, right. <laughs> I see. Uh, uh, and then Paraguay's second album uh, uh, still prepare, but uh, it's almost off me while singing in this second album. And I did mention mm -hmm. record label. Right. Uh, you have record label, John? <laughs> I'm sorry. So you, do you have yeah. record label? He said. Record label. I don't. Um, I uh, I record for Aerogrid, um, but that's not my label. 
Mm. No, I don't. Yes, yes. I don't want to run a record label. <laughs> <laughs> Just run in uh, one little world. <laughs> I've got too many projects. Yes, I've got too many projects. I I definitely don't want to run many a label. Projects. It's okay. So <laughs> when you're right. when you're working for film and for commercials, um, how do you use the modular in that workflow, or do you at all? Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious too, yeah. Like, for example, if you're um, doing the movie score or working with other projects, Eddie, do you use modular in the music with the others? Uh, or? It's other projects. Uh, uh, um, sound engineer. Mm -hmm. But not using modular, yeah? Not using modular uh, in the music? Sound, not, use modular, not using modular. Hmm. Uh, and then to... Uh, from broadcast RCT plus Indonesian broadcast. Uh, I need work. Mm. I work uh, uh, Roman pieces and movies. The series from mm. from RCTI, and then um, uh, movie horror from mm. MNC Group. Horror Is it movie. like um, using the modular for doing music in the yeah, TV? Uh, using a little bit. Oh, okay. A little bit of modular yes. in there, yeah? Yeah, one uh, thing nice. I could see it being difficult with would be if clients needed adjustments, small adjustments, but you've you've already tracked it out in modular. It's kind of hard to, like, take a little part out or do a little something. Yeah. Unless everything's multi-tracked. That's Whereas right, yeah. in software, you can open it up and make little changes and give them a new yes. version and all that kind of thing. Change the tempo and stuff. Yeah, it's more flexible in the software. Yeah, right. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Before, thank you, John, uh, to invite me and Raya. <laughs> Absolutely, no worries, brother. Yeah, We're honored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good community and <laughs> strength the scene. Yeah, sure. All right. Well, thank you, Eddie. Right. Thanks for joining us. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Eddie. Okay. Wish you good holiday. Bye. Thank you. Ciao. Thank you. Bye. My friends, Pat Patakwat. Awesome. Eddie Patakwat. Okay. Um, Raihan, I'm going to send you off and I'm going to pull in right. uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. McCarthy. I'll, uh, sure. I'll pull you back in. Uh, okay. Nope. I just mucked that up. <laughs> Oh, Jono, come on, you've done this enough, man. Um, stay with me, friends. Stay with me. Michael? Michael? There he is. Oh, boy. My friends, How's it going? my friends, so, Gerald it's early. Fjord. It's early. I don't want to talk about. <laughs> Why do I do this? Uh, I can't hear you, man. I'm sorry. It looks awesome, but I can't hear you. Well, uh, there's my man. I just wanted everybody to see it because, you, as you know, that is our first collaboration for the official modular world gear that we're going to be putting out in October. I call it hour 36. It's an exact replica of how John O'Work looked in hour 36 of the modular anniversary coming soon. 74 95 modular world. That's, that's a little pricey. I think I, I, you're the one that wanted that big markup. So will, will we put filters in it? Will it be a, uh, be an N95 mask, Bangus Pandega asks. <laughs> yes, I, I think that's a smart idea. I think it would fit it right there. But what I like about it, you can see it's it's got your facial expression that you give after every performance that's on Modular World. It's oh, just definitely. embedded yeah. in there. Oh, yeah, Perfect. yeah. Well, remember we had my face plaster casted, and that's what you built that mask out of. Absolutely. Yeah, I nice think one. He lost some weight since then, though. That's the good part. Yeah, I've, I've, I had a little neck going on there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little double chin. 
That came out really nice, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, why do we do this? Okay. Sometimes I pretend I'm talking to you when I'm home alone. <laughs> All right, tell us uh, a little bit about the video, which we're going to play here. All right, uh, so yeah, just Gerald's gear. We got uh, Cursible is what I'm doing this time. I had it a while back, and I only got to kind of mess with it, and then I ordered a second one, so I waited till that came in. And so this video is just kind of showing what you can do with two Cursibles, but separated. And so I'll talk about how each of them in the video, what they're being used for, but also how they can be really used for smaller cases for different things because it's not just used for effects uh but i'll let the, the video explain all that all right thank you mr president thank you it's good to see you man you too man my friends gerald fjord here we go ladies and gentlemen gerald fjord All right, so for the first patch example, we're using Cursible 1, using the returns to go from the uh, quad operator, the Humble Audio quad operator. So there's four different FM voices that are going to each return, using four returns on the Cursible 1. And we're using the CV and clock to control those. That's going into the second Cursible. Four of those send and returns are going to different effects, the Make Noise Mimeophone, the Saraveo, the Desmodus Versio, and the Triptych. This one also is using a clock CV, and here's the example. So for the second patch, we have the first Cursible, again, just being used for the returns using all six coming from the Bird Kids Raven Oscillator. We have six different waveforms with the essentially just having a, a wave folder um, if it's going over each other or if you have it non fill mode, it can go from one to the next. Uh, and be a wave bank for you. In this instance, I am using the fill mode so that they overlap in various points. At the beginning of the patch, you're going to hear uh, just a few of them so that it sounds a little bit more sparse. And then as it goes on, you'll hear it much more full when I switch to an LFO to control the uh, crossfader on the CV clock, which is again being the mode used on the first Cursible. On the second Cursible, we have the output of Cursible 1 going into that, and the send and returns are going through four different filters acting as a filter bank, and that one also is in fill mode so that they can overlap as well. Uh, and then just for a little bit of extra, all of that's just going into uh, Make Noise Mimiphone. So here's the second patch, enjoy. <laughs>
All right, we'll do one last patch, and this time we're going to have the WTF oscillator going into Crucible 1, and inside of all the returns, we have different envelopes from the IntelliGel Quadra, so that way, whenever it goes on, we have it in fill mode so that it can uh, go on top of each other, so they'll get different envelopes that are going out from the sequence that's playing into the WTF oscillator. And then this time we're using the second Crucible completely separate. I have a drum beat being played on Metron uh, using some samples on the simulator. And then that's going into the second Crucible. The inputs, uh, the sends on those are going to all different various effects and the returns coming back from those effects again in fill mode so that they can overlap. Uh, and both of them are on the shift 666, which is the random and CV mode, my favorite. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Man, Mike, thanks so much, my friends. That was Gerald Fjord. Just always a pleasure to have you on the show, man. Welcome back. Um, okay, moving on. Um, we're, uh, yeah, we have three more performers. Awesome. Um, just a quick um, word about Patreon. If you'd like to support this fiercely independent show, um, please consider uh, heading over to Patreon. The link is below. And uh, if you're more of a YouTube channel member kind of person, you can hit the join button right right below. Uh, these shows take a lot of work. And um, yeah, thanks for considering supporting. Uh, second tier members get downloads, uh, audio downloads of the whole show, which is awesome, and previous shows, including the mighty anniversary show from May. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of music up there. So thank you for considering. Um, let me uh, bring my co-host Bass Put back in. Here we go. All right, Raihan, thank you. Right. Thank you once again for co-hosting this spotlight no on worries, Indonesia. Brother. So great, no worries. Well, so great. far so good. Yeah, so nice. Well, next up we have Dead a Dude, and yeah. uh, let me just uh, let me just introduce him. Right. Thank you, Randy, for becoming uh, a YouTube channel member. I appreciate it, man. Friend of the show. All right, here we go. Dead a Dude is a self-proclaimed generalist in the world of arts and entertainment based in Jakarta, Indonesia. Infinite exploration, the discovery of new sounds, and a never-ending curiosity are what keeps his intense 
enthusiasm for modular. <laughs> well put. Uh, he's been performing modular synthesizers for the past four years in numerous showcases, events, and festivals. Yet, according to this multifaceted musician, his preferred place is to perform in his own living room in Jakarta. You know, I can relate. I love getting out, but it's just nice to jam at home. <laughs> <laughs> Our safe place, you know? Well, I mean, what's your situation? Like, I mean, you're not, you know, like playing out yet. Are you there? Or, or No, you... no. We're still locked down here as yeah. well. Yeah. It's the same. But you can go out yeah. and do little like remote performances, like with a battery maybe? Or do you just like home only? Yeah, I think it's possible. It's possible. What's the battery you're using for the? I use um, I use the Rav Power, uh, thirty uh, yeah. thirty thousand milliamp. Yeah, and that powers my seven U for like hours. Ah, uh, yeah. I saw it in the modular anniversary show right in the beach. That's why you yep. used it, right? Yep, yep. Nice. It's a little square, um, little 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 pancake, and uh, it's got a three prong outlet just like you do on your wall. So right. it's pretty amazing. And um, Patrick and I, Patrick O'Brien and I used it um, in DC and mm. it powered my 7U and all of his LED lights right on the mall there. So that was, uh, I, I was surprised. <laughs> Take a look, Ralph, uh, Ralph Power, right? Ralph Power, okay. this is not a commercial for Ralph Power, let's be very clear. <laughs> of course. This yeah. show is fiercely <laughs> independent and not sponsored. Let's make that really clear. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Moving on. My bad. Uh, this, <laughs> this is dead a dude.
Dead a dude. Hey. I just. I mean, this will Diddy. this will go down as one of my favorite sets. Oh, thank oh you. it's thank pretty you safe to say much. that as well. Yeah, I've just so got to nice. say it. Absolutely <laughs> stunning. Yeah, so great. thank you. Oh, my Composition, God. the structure, and everything. It's just wow. Well, it's it's speechless. it's so nice to hear or read like all the compliments to like Indonesian Jean Michael Jar <laughs> or Jean Michel Jar. <laughs> Un unbelievable. Well, the, well, to be honest, uh, this kind of star is I just found it like two or three months ago. I uh, from two or three months ago, I never. I I do have uh, the best uh, sequencers, uh, black sequencer from Erica. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But since two or three months ago, I never I never program. I never put any note in there. So I just play. Push, 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 throw it, throw it, rip and play. Uh, but of course, the, the help of the symphony and the incredible, incredible module. From is that ICL, the only sequence? Like the black sequence or that? Or is there anything? Is there any sequence? Oh, no, no. The, 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 the sequence is from the black sequencer, Erika. Uh, but after the black sequencer, we, uh, we our it at uh, symphony. Mm, okay. SEL. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. But That's I never, great. I never program any sequencer, any note in sequencer. Just, just push, just press and play and and play. And so I never, I never, I never have any song or any any presets on my sequencer. It's like so put it on the fly, yeah. Yeah, on the fly. Everything is on the fly. Wow. Amen. Brilliant. Thank so. You. I had this battle with um, sequencers and the same sort of mentality that I wanted to play on the fly. Um, how did you deal with that and realize that you needed to play like that and didn't didn't want to have everything sequenced? Okay. Speaking about sequencer, I my journey of sequencer is start from Eloquencer, uh, MPZ one with a MIDI to CV converter. And then uh, what is from the one I, I forgot from the one I forgot. And then I got a black sequencer from Erica, and that's perfect for for any of uh, improvisation improvisation you need to take in your life situation. It's perfect. Wow. It's almost perfect. Right. So you can. You can do anything uh, with a black sequencer, practically just like that. It's wow. that it's, uh, it's that simple. It's like that. Just like push, no menu diving at all. Just mm. push, mm. Play, rotate, and then it's something like that. It's, it's quite easy. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty amazing though that it could be this musical, and this like intelligent, and not be patterns and you know sequences you'd planned. I think that it's easier to not use a sequencer when you're doing very experimental yep. stuff and kind of tripping in the darkness like I do. Um, but your stuff is so, there's such a level of musicality that I, I just can't believe <laughs> that you, it's not you. sequenced. Second that. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Thank you. So, yeah, uh, thanks to the, thanks to the Symphonian module, right? the, the one uh, from SEL, the, mm -hmm. uh, what is the name like the complex harmonic cv processor it's like mm. uh quantizer mm. so uh i have like one two three four five like five points in my rack and all of, all of this voice is uh, come from uh, black sequencer and then wrote to a uh, symphony on so mm -hmm. the 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 part of harmony it's the complex harmony is created by symphony and not not by uh, black sequencer mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's no pitch sequencing coming from the black from, sequencer yeah from black yeah yeah uh, uh still still there, there there are pits uh at the black sequencer but the one that produced the harmonic is from symphonian wow nice so great now i'm curious about symphonian yeah thanks for <laughs> feeding my gas on that 
I it's always happen like that, right? We hear something. Uh, of course, you, 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 of course you, 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 you don't have to put any. Uh, you don't have to put a sequencer in uh, Symphony, and you can patch in like uh, LFO or something or uh, mm. CV processor or uh, other CV processor. But the Centurion is is the the most incredible module I ever have. Ugh, right. God, I hate it when like people magic. say that. <laughs> You know? It's like a magic, really. <laughs> now we have to dig, right? I know. Like yeah, internet, yeah, yeah. You didn't have YouTube to say it stuff. like that. You know, <laughs> the most incredible module ever. I'm like, God damn it! You, you know, uh, uh, you know, I do love pets, right? Like, like, uh, like a, uh, like a uh, court pets beat with a reef up with a delay, and it's the the court the court note is quite amazing to to set in symphony on. You can uh, you can just uh, scale voicing or something like that with a with a quick with a quick uh, modulation something like that. So it's so amazing right. this module. Mm. So Damn. great. <laughs> so I'm to dig. Yeah, seriously. So what's uh, what's next for you? What are you working on, man? I don't have any plan. <laughs> Actually, I don't have any plan. Like, uh, I never plan to make any album or any single. But um, all of my friends keep uh, make album, make a song, make a single. Uh, okay, when I'm ready, then I make it. <laughs> but I never. So uh, personally, frankly speaking, for me, a modular is like a personal thing. You know, like, it's like, like, uh, yeah, I do love. Uh, perform in public but most of the time as I do love perform for my own and for my wife right now let's talk about your wife <laughs> <laughs> you just got married congratulations yeah, that's like two weeks ago thank you thank congratulations. you Dan. thank you Ryan. congratulations imagine <laughs> being the lucky woman who gets to hear this in the house <laughs> he just does it for himself he's not going to release it for the rest of us no but she gets to hear it that's a good point yeah i mean what a lucky woman jeez <laughs> no i'm the lucky one no i'm the lucky one it's no, just a singer well. too again you i mean you should be saying that also so that's good <laughs> congratulations thank that you is, thank you thank yeah, you that's thank great. you thank you john thank you john ah uh, newlyweds that's so sweet. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, can I just be one to encourage you to put something out and to build some musical legacy? Yes, please. I understand that you want to do it for yourself, and I think that's fine. Um, but life moves so quickly, and please build a musical legacy and put it out. <laughs> that's true. I'll, yeah. think about, I'll think about it. <laughs> please, please do that. Don't let it die on hard drives and you know just just for yourself. <laughs> That's the point. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Because Please you mentioned that you lost there. some files, right, Daddy? Like uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, if we 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 have a modular set in our room, just play and record and computer or something. I put it on what is that? The sound cloud. SoundCloud, right? Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and 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 uh, the Disa Disa from Indo Immodulator is, hey, your song is incredible. Uh, uh, let 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 us really say that they, uh, he has uh, some record label, and then I just looking for the file in the computer and sorry, this I cannot find it anymore. <laughs> See, files die on hard drives. <laughs> That's the situation yeah that's so tragic alexa alexa Mumtaz here publish it on bandcamp dad so yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Just okay, 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 yeah. Okay. come on okay, okay. i'll think about it <laughs> i'll think about it don't think about it for too Thanks long for... please was it now <laughs> <laughs> thank john for your input <laughs> wow all right well thank you so much for joining us man okay, Thanks, I just okay. absolutely Thanks. love what thank you're doing you. thank you Okay, thank Thanks you, John. Thanks for your for this opportunity. You, means a lot to us. You got it, man. Absolutely. Okay, thank you, John. Right. See you, Dad. Okay, bye, bye, guys. Dead a dude, my friends. Wow. 
Amazing, amazing set. Um, okay. Remove. Oh, okay. He just canceled out. Okay. <laughs> I'm juggling windows here. You know, it's, uh, it's going okay. All right. It's not going great. <laughs> Let's just be honest. It's not going great. That's okay. Well, there's just, you know, all right. Um, thank you for uh, watching this show, my friends. Uh, this is just an absolute pleasure with my friend Raihan, a.k.a. Baseput, who helped me. Uh, well, he didn't help me. He curated this show. So he's the one who found these wonderful artists. And, uh, yeah, thanks, everybody, for uh, thanks putting so much, up with my yeah. fading voice. Um, if you missed it earlier, um, I came back from our vacation with COVID. Um, so did my daughter. Um, we went through 10 days of quarantine in my jail cell of a bedroom here. And um, we're out the other side. It's good. But I lose my voice like by noon. And uh, anyway, we're doing great. But uh, that's what's going on. If you're wondering why I sound like I'm dying. <laughs> It's not good, though, no. Yes, I was vaccinated. Yes, we were careful. Okay, so just just so you know. But, you know, yeah. we chose to travel, and that was a questionable choice. Stay home, my friends. Please don't travel. Yep. It is real. Um, okay, sorry about that. Moving on. Uh, let me introduce Dea Homogenic. All right, here we go. All right. And then we're going to close out this amazing show with you, my friend, with bass put. We'll talk about that in a minute. Sure. Okay. Dea Homogenic. Dea is one half of the producer duo behind Indonesia's pioneering indie electronic group, Homogenic. With five studio albums under their belt, taking influences from a diverse range of electronica into their d distinctive gloomy, bittersweet, freezing cold sound signature with angelic vocals. Dea's journey through the modular synthesizer world just recently started this past year, okay? This past year, with the Indomodular community members guiding him as fellow synthesists and patching mentors. Are you ready for this? Here we go. Dea, Bring it on. Dea Homogenic.
Oh my God, Dea. <laughs> Just, I mean, I I had such an emotional reaction. I had to like compose myself to come back to live here. Jeez, what a gorgeous set. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. Thank you very much. This is like Thank nostalgic kind of stuff. heartbreak going on here. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, nice. Yeah, you mentioned that this track is from 2002, right? When you were yeah. 19 years old. Yeah, this is what, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this moment is actually a bit of no, no really nostalgic for me. It's, it's this is my first time performing in front of you guys, Modular Friends. <laughs> you know, Modular guys. It's so guy, special. And, yeah, this is so special. <laughs> this is this is my debut actually, uh, performing the first time without my band. And so this great. is a, and, and right. This is a track from 2002. Uh, I, I've made it uh, when I'm still 19 years old with my bandmate Dina, which is only 18 years old at that time. So this is, and with my late vocalist, of course, which, which is uh, she's still 17 years old. So this brings back a lot of memories for me. Seriously, <laughs> I'm, I'm moved by that actually. <laughs> Thank you very much for the opportunity. <laughs> So Thank this you. is like a it's like a modular remix of that track. Yes, this is the remake, and this is and I'm, I'm and I'm using at at the first. Uh, this is I, I'm actually diving into this granular synthesis, and I'm falling off into cloud. So this is a lot of first time, and this is the first. Uh, actually, back then that's the it, it's the first song, yeah, very first mm. of our single as homogenic actually. And I'm using the original, actually, original vocals. So I don't know if, oh. if I, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit afraid, actually, because Jono make a note about uh, using the old samples. But I make, I make sure that it didn't um, resemble any of the original. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I do get copyright dings um, when people use you know, their old stuff. So I, I do appreciate it when you uh, can find a way to wiggle past that. Yeah. <laughs> you you passed that with this one? It's okay? Everything? Great? We haven't found out yet. I mean, I you know, <laughs> the stream oh, hasn't been taken down. But worst of worst <laughs> is I just get, um, I get a message saying that uh, it can't be monetized, which is fine because I don't monetize mm. these, you know, these shows. Um, <laughs> so that's, that's fine. <laughs> Even only the small part of the vocal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really interesting. I got a ding, um, a, I mean, a couple dings on the uh, uh, on the anniversary show, and I get a message that explains what part of the, and I mean, this is a, you know, 34-hour stream, and it, like, isolates the 17 seconds, which had a, wow. you know, like, had a violation, and it sends me, like, that time code. So I can go and you know, like listen to it and say, like, oh, I don't, I don't know what that is. It's very odd. It's a super so smart, super smart yeah. algorithm. Yeah. So very well. Anyway, so homogenic, and now you. Can you explain the the process here of what's happened and what you're doing now and how it's related? Okay, <laughs> so yeah, we already have about uh, five albums under our belt. This is actually, the modular thing is actually making, this is a, like a new, new, I don't know what is, what, what's, what's the word, but basically, uh, it's like rearrange my vision about. Did we lose him? Yeah. Uh, this oh, is the, like the rearranging the, the, the vision of, of our music actually. Uh, actually, Dina mm -hmm. is played on one of our uh, one of our event, Andalo Modular event back in Bandung. So mm -hmm. uh, actually, Dina is my bandmate actually in, in Homogenic. So we are a bit moving into that direction actually to the modular and stuff, more experimental stuff. I don't know, but. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, but this is a lot of room to, to explore, and we are challenged by it. <laughs> so let's yeah. see what 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 will, what will we do, yeah, in the next year, hopefully. Wow. And so you're great. still working with the vocalist, right? Yes. 
So yeah, yeah, yeah. And and actually, or the old vocalist, no, actually she's already have some, uh, already have another project actually. Mm. And we have our new vocalist, so we we're kind of changing direction with our music, but we are really really open for mm. exploring, and we are thankful that we have on the modular guys, yeah, on our side. <laughs> as our supporting platform. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Seriously. <laughs> well, when uh, when Homogenic comes out with a new release, I think we might have to have you back on the show. Maybe like performing as a group. That would be really great. Oh, that'll be great, Jeno. Yeah. <laughs> that would be great. That would be great. Yeah. Imagine like live vocals with modular happening. We'll see. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. I please, encourage you to do that. Please let me know that. when that's <laughs> when that's possible because I'll just I'll just have you back on. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Very much. Actually, okay. I had uh, you put me after Daddy. Daddy says like oh, and I, I get about five modules. Uh, no, no, four four modules for for him from him, and all of them are a great module. So I think Daddy have this nice taste for modules. <laughs> Well, you can see how we've curated this flow. Like we're ending with all the emotion and all the all the feels. Oh my! <laughs> yeah, stay tuned for the feels that are coming up next. Oh my God! Woo, woo, woo. We'll do, we'll do. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, Dea. Thanks uh, so much. Thank you, Dea. Thanks yeah. so much. Thank you, thank you Jonah, for having me. Thank it's you. It's my pleasure. Yeah. All right, my, my friends, Dea Homogenic, right here. You saw it. Wow. Okay. That was wow. awesome. Wow. That's really incredible. <laughs> that was oh, awesome. I love how they are, you know, composed the music because I heard it back in the past of the uh, old material of the homogenic, but now it's completely born into new composition, like arrangement. And it's really fresh to, you know, have the modular uh, stuff inside the, the song. It's amazing. So like homogenic was a really big deal there. Yeah, yeah, it's Indonesian uh, in the music scenes from 2000, yeah, 2000, yeah, now, until now, it's amazing. Electronic music scene, actually. What an honor, you know? And also, let's throw Randy under the bus a little bit here, all right? It's yeah. also a big honor having Randy with us. He's in the chat. Yeah. And he was on earlier. If you want a good, like, example of somebody who's been in part of you know, Indonesian culture in movies, in music. Look Randy's up Randy. He's in the chat right there. Look up Randy Danista. And uh, yeah, look at the uh, influence he's had on Indonesian culture uh, for a while. Yeah. And also just a wonderful human being. Okay. Speaking of wonderful human beings, uh, should I like can I introduce you like with you sitting right there or should I like get you out of here <laughs> it's up to you completely up to you I'm okay <laughs> okay all right so some of you might recall god it was months ago and I think that Alpha Stare and Gerald really hopped on this because when you were on the show for the first time that set is during the playback and I was like legitimately crying and I was really worried about how we were going to come back live and I was going to have to compose myself and, you know, talk to you. And we yeah, came back live and I was just like, I wasn't sobbing, but I was just like, I was clearly like moved. And that's where all the Jono tears started and Jono tears and all this stuff. Anyway, that is your fault. And now I'm treading in... <laughs> Uh, scary territories because I'm having you back on the show and the set you've sent is just killer. Ugh. Thanks, brother. All right. Thanks so much. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna read your uh, your bio here. All right. All right. So All right. just bear with me. Base put, sure. aka Raihan Sudrajit. This guy right here creates a link between modular synthesizers and the voices and instruments of indigenous cultures, particularly those found in traditional. Indonesian ceremonies and rituals to create a new form of musical experience. As an, es as an ethnomusicologist, Basput has traveled throughout Indonesia, capturing samples of music performances for use in his modular compositions. 
Base put hopes to connect between the legacies and the messages of the ancestors from the past in the futuristic modern world. <laughs> Are you ready, my friends? All right, this is going to close out a very unique and wonderful show. Okay. And we'll come back and have a little chat with you, sir. Okay. Right. My friends, this is Base Boot.
wow. <laughs> it's like, do you realize what you just saw? Like, oh my God, dude. There's just so much to cover here, man. I, God. So I, I, I got that Borderlands app um, God, probably a year ago when I saw them posting right. about it. Right. And I thought it was awesome um, and really mm -hmm. playable, but I haven't taken the time to incorporate it into my workflow here. Right, right, right. I did some things where I had recorded into it and then I sampled out of it. But the way you're working with it live like that is just so cool to see. Yeah, the thing is that I've been um, stuff. I'm using uh, Morphogy like right. um, for manipulating and focal samples. So I'm actually really, really love to do uh, live looping, live sampling. So actually Morphogy, but now I'm using the uh, Borderlands renderer as a, a granular type of uh, application to manipulate manipulate the my voice and also the loop instrument. So everything from that comes into small um, interface like Zoom H for uh, N and then goes to my modeler before it hits the A simulator. So actually I am making loop and stuff in there with the, uh, you know, loop and focal and then put a simulator and record that there and also put the zones in random and stuff, you know? Yep. So basically um, just because I also downsizing into like a 40 H, uh, sorry, 44, uh, 84 HP. Yeah. And then, like small and I would like really to condense and make it more focused to the small uh, system because I think it's really handy for traveling because yeah. you know, it's quite mobile move to place to place and also if it's settled up maybe I can make a bigger uh, case like that so actually the borderline I think is the key to do the manipulating the focal and sample stuff in the first uh, intro that you've mentioned mm -hmm. with the sub and stuff but in the second song actually I used the application called sampler so actually it's quite um, uh, straightforward as well, where the borderland granular, which is more granular type of application where you can put the, uh, everything into granular type of um, system where in sampler actually put that sample and then you can chop and you get, you can do like a scrubbing in the estimator yeah. stuff, which is, I think it's just really fascinating to experimenting that kind of stuff because it's really new for me to learn that channel. Yeah, I mean, you're literally tapping on this waveform and playing different parts of it. Yeah, and then put record. And so for example, I play random stuff. Well, I'm playing record. And then once I stop record, actually plays what I've already put the random in the waveforms. I think it's just, it's just great. It's like having a beatbox in the iPad. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. I mean, you can't, Yeah. like I would do same thing in Bitbox. I would sample something in, scan, set all the slice points, play them randomly but the playability the organic playability of being able to tap around like that it's just like it's just great to see yeah yeah hands on on the fly yeah totally. it's really nice to yeah totally yeah yeah that's true yeah god what a great way to like combine all the different technologies brilliant yeah i know yeah it's also always coming up you know every day and every um month there will always be a new technology and new things because i think it's nice for us to keep up with the new yeah. uh, things what happens in the future but also yeah to for me i think personally would like to also keep the roots and then also to uh, expand and also grow with the newest technology which is i think it's just in line and also i believe will expand my uh, reach Mm -hmm. in music, especially modular synthesizer. God, well said. I mean, keeping grounded in the traditional stuff that you really love and is such yeah. your sound. I, w I was so happy to see you pull out the sape, at, you know, like at the beginning. That beautiful instrument. Yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah. Thanks for that, Jono. Thanks for inviting me here to play and also with the mod in the modular uh, community here to be yeah. able to present our... Um, bit of stuff to the modular world, which is really um, appreciated, greatly appreciated. Well, I mean, you're welcome. And thank you for coming and doing it. I mean, I mean, this really could have been like a, like a three part show. I mean, there's, we've just scratched the surface <laughs> of the talent that's coming out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope that this is the beginning, I think, for the new steps that I 
that people knows about the Indomodular community that yeah. a lot of actually uh, about the community of synthesis modular in Asia, like the Thailand and also with the Vietnam and stuff, which is really big and grow, I think, but we never know about them. And also I think this is one of the gateway to for us to know about the other communities in Asia and not in Asia, maybe in Europe and stuff that yeah. the modular world is a okay key to, you know, connect that dots between countries. I think Brilliant. it's great. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. I mean, just mm -hmm. in this past week, I've had, um, I don't know, like less than five, I mean, let's say three um, people from Indo um, scene who have hit me up and said, hey, show looks great. Uh, I want to play. <laughs> so we're starting Zoom calls and communications next week, you know, and just a note on that. Um, who was saying it? What was it Woja Homak? But I mean... I've, I reach out to a lot of people and have kind of constant, um, scheduled zoom calls. And I, I gotta tell you, like everybody who I talk to, and I mean, everybody, um, is reachable, humble, um, ready to talk, interested in playing. I mean, I would encourage anybody in this, uh, uh, you know, listening, um, if there's somebody who you like and want to reach out to and talk to, it's just, it's too easy. People are there and willing to talk and hang out. And there's just friends all over this globe. I mean, you and I are a perfect example. Yeah. I just reached out once a year and a half ago and we started talking and the rest is history. You know? Yeah, I think, I mean, like every people, for example, when I first encountered two modular synthesizer, like I've been in an Australian community like called Aussie Wiggler and yeah. I've been, would like to dig that and, knows nothing about model and one guy called roberto or ipnoteca mm -hmm. like yep. uh, you know him yep. like, he plays yeah, in modular he show, show. Yep. and yeah he's really nice he taught me a lot of things about lf oscillator and stuff like pretty basic which is some people find it boring and you can find it on google and youtube but you know i think it's, uh, several people are really nice and all of people like i know in synthesis modular eurac and stuff it's really you know passionate and also patience to tell about the um, knowledge of the modeler and stuff, which is, I feel that this is community is really nice and getting stronger every day. And totally. we can also, yeah, I think it's great, brother. And I feel that too. I feel the warmth of the friendship in this uh, community. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's mm -hmm. just, you can feel it. You can see it in the chat um, in every stream yeah. event, you know, I'm on a lot of different stream, you know, events as a, as a viewer and you see it yeah. every show without fail in all the discords and like everywhere, you know, Yeah, man, just thank you so much for doing this show and co-hosting with me and curating all these brilliant performers. This has been a real pleasure. Thanks so much yeah. for Jono. And personally would like to thank you all and for everyone who watched this show. And also thanks to in the modular team and also still awake at two 30 in the down near near down right now yeah we started at 11 <laughs> your time so now it's 3 40 yeah, or three yeah. hours and 40 minutes later yeah thanks so much thanks so much for, for everyone who support yeah for staying up thanks so much i mean you guys are working monday morning in like a few hours yeah yeah some of us yeah thanks for staying up <laughs> i tried to start it as early as i could 9 a.m pacific no i can't go earlier but it still ends yeah. up being late for you guys. So thanks so much. <laughs> thanks so much, you know, and thanks a lot, everyone. Once again, it means a lot to us and also um, to be able to present a little bit from, from um, in the modular community to the world, modular world. I think it's just really um, relieving and also us feel appreciated about that. So thanks so much once again. All right, Mr. Raihan Sudrajat, AKA Base Put, my mm -hmm. brother. All right. We'll uh, we'll stay in touch, man. All right, see you, brother. Take care. Okay. Well, we have uh, come to the end of a very special show. I'm sure you'd agree. Okay. Um, just some housekeeping stuff here. All right. First off, just thank you so much to all the artists who played. What a great show! And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. This is just a great one. We've had. Um, I'm always interested to look at the numbers. So there's 458 people watching right now. Um, 54 people logged into YouTube and commenting and being part of the show. 
Um, in the future, anybody who's not logged into Google, I'd love to have you uh, talking and being part of this community, um, exchanging, I don't know what I'm saying, uh, thoughts and feelings about what's going on, okay? Uh, yeah, what a great one. Okay, um, once again, um, if you would like to um, support this fiercely independent show, please consider going to Patreon or clicking the Join button underneath. Um, middle tier uh, members on uh, YouTube and on Patreon get downloads of this whole show and previous shows. Quite a good deal. Um, all right. And um, once again, we'll be closing the show out with Ice Locus. Our friend Jared Kazub, which with his beautiful new album, I'll play a, a couple tracks, just outro, um, and uh, we'll do a little after party and Discord if people would like to hang out. Um, yes, Modular World has a Discord. Um, it goes off; it's really fun. So the Discord link is below, also. And uh, just thanks again. What a great show! Um, we'll see you in early September the great lineup that I'll start talking about in a few weeks here. Okay. Uh, thank you, my friends. We'll see you soon. <laughs> ¶¶